Hello, welcome to the queue for a recap of turn nine, Operation Champ. So we'll slide that over to 10. And uh, as you can see by the US income marker, they are at war. The uh, Japan attacked the FEC and the dice rolls brought them into the conflict. So now really only Russia is sitting on the sidelines right now. The tech, um, has not really improved for Russia. Uh, they do have one. Uh, Germany's getting up there, uh, but Japan and Italy are lagging a little behind. And speaking of lagging behind, there's Britain. Uh, US, I believe, picked up jet fighters uh, as completed on this turn with a couple other movements. Um, but one order of uh, clarity here from the, the last turn, uh, Anzac purchased a destroyer, which I never even checked because uh, I'm just assuming destroyers are eight as they are in BBR and other games. However, they are seven in Global 36. So we're going to give a dollar or IPP back to Anzac, which will bring them up to 14. Yeah, 14. So that uh, is what they have going forward. And uh, on US's turn, they declared war in Germany which allowed the captured Argentina and Brazil to go to U.S. to give them an extra six IPP a turn, so these Brazil markers are no more. And uh, action in the Atlantic, uh, we had Vichy sending out two battleships uh, to get uh, the Free French cruiser and transport there. Uh, they succeeded, as you can see. And in uh, C-Zone 24, there was some naval combat. Uh, Germany came out with subs, surface ships, and aircraft. And they uh, took out the British, uh, I think there was a fighter uh, on C maritime air patrol and some surface ships. And then they went ahead and convoyed for uh, Four dollars in that zone with the remaining subs that didn't take place in the battle. And then on the ensuing uh, British turn, they came out and cleared out the German surface ships that remained, uh, along with a couple subs. Uh, didn't They had no way to get all those subs, but they got a couple. Um, the One of the subs that they did sink uh, got a roll of a one on defense, and I was unaware uh, that subs get target select on defense. Uh, or maybe I just forgot, I don't know. Either way, uh, I took two torpedo boat destroyers, so we're going to put one back, and we're going to take this coastal sub uh, as that target select, because uh, it defends at a six. And uh, if that needs to be changed, Categoric Cow can uh, let me know. Um, Maybe he hates torpedo boat destroyers and wants them gone. You know, that'd be cool. Uh, no other real action. Well, I guess there was a little action in the mid. Uh, there was a lone free French transport that came over, uh, took Syria. So the uh, um, Vichy France sent over a sub, cleaned that up. Uh, Africa, oh, I knocked over the Eiffel Tower. Got to put that back up. There we go. All right, not, nothing in Africa, no action. However... Here was the action here. Japan declared war on FEC and they cleaned up uh, Malaya, Burma, and Bengal and came over here and took uh, Maharashtra. As I flipped that carrier around. Uh, they did not go for Calcutta. I thought they might use the surprise strike on there. Uh, however, I think round two of their planned assault on FEC will be to surround it and then you know, take out those guys there. Um, FEC has put a force in the desert there to hide out. We're going to try and see how long we can hang on. Um, can we hang on long enough for the U.S. to get over here? Who knows? Um, other convoying action, um, Germany, uh, knowing Japan's plans, went ahead and convoy raided uh, the FEC for $3. Uh, Japan convoyed uh, for two dollars off the Anzac. Uh, and they declared war on the US after those dice rolls, so they attacked the Philippines, but as you can see, uh, they came in uh, light on land units, 
so they got one of the U.S. units there, but didn't get both. And uh, Philippines remains in U.S. hands uh, at least till next turn. So they also convoyed that line uh, for three dollars against the U.S. The <clears throat> British sub, formerly known as Dutch sub came up and convoyed the Tokyo line for five, so we got a little bit of a payback there. There was some naval action in uh, off the Hawaiian coast there. Uh, one lone sub came in, got a hit on the destroyer, and the destroyer missed. So the transport that was there also fell victim. So kind of a big naval victory, not the big naval victory you normally associate with Pearl Harbor. Um, Japan used their first strike down here in Sea Zone 147, and there was a destroyer, cruiser, and a transport, and they came down with three subs. And as you can see, it did not work out well. Uh, they lost all three subs. Uh, they did get the destroyer, um, so that is an Anzac victory here in this naval zone. I got some new naval combat markers here. Uh, which are kind of cool, the ship going down. I don't have the ship glued in there yet. I'm going to paint that and and because uh, it's just the, the flat gray. But I did glue the rest of that together, the smoke, the flame. and So that'll be my new naval combat markers. As you can see, there was that one up there in uh, off Hawaii. So those are your combats for this turn. Uh, Japan most likely is going to take out Calcutta next turn, and Russia and Germany, will they square off next turn? Who knows? Um, I don't think so. I don't think there's enough there for either side. So it might be another turn of building there on the Eastern Front.